Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at your call here. I've got the victorious Ronnie the Shark Clark. Well, Ronnie, at the press conference, you said for the first time you knew you was going to win tonight. And you have won tonight. And what a brilliant fight it was. As, as you know, like away from home, you know you have to work your ass off. Tonight, I worked my ass off. I worked so hard. I believe in myself. I've always believed in myself. I told you at the beginning, now I say to you, I'm going to make the bookies poor. You put in the comment, I'm going to make the bookies rich. The bookies are going to be cursing me, cursing me. In Belfast, because in Belfast and Scotland, just 20, 25 to 1? 20, 14, 15. Oh, man, ridiculous money. Ridiculous. Writing me off like that. No, I said when, when I kickboxed, I would become a world champion kickboxing. And I did. Everybody wrote me off, nah, he won't, he won't. I became a world champion kickboxer. When I started boxing, my intention was to become a world champion. It still is my intention. I looked through the rankings in it, and the top 26 in the British rankings, I'm 33 year old, I'm the oldest in the British rankings. Listen, but 33 year old, you see that, listen, 33 year old, I don't look 33. I look 33, uh, the sunbeds, the sunbeds cause that. But listen, my body's not 33, my body's real. I've never been in a real fight. Tonight, Zelfa is my hardest fight. He's young, he's fresh, 24 year old. He could punch from both hands, he moves well, he's really hard to hit. And listen, all through this, I say he's 24 year old, he'll come again. He will come again and he will be a world champion. Mark my word, he will be a world champion. He's a talented, a talented young man. He's got a great family around him, a great team around him, very, very professional. Now, I can only imagine how much it hurts because I've been on that end of the, the stick when you get that defeat and it's hard. But listen, a true champion comes back from that defeat and I'm more than sure he'll come back. He's a great lad and he has everything to be proud of. Their last couple of rounds, the roof was off that place. It was, the, the last few rounds, it was an uproar. For anybody to try and stand in the centre and ring with me and toe to toe, man, that's just suicide. It's just suicide. And he stayed there, that was what was worse, he stayed there. Amazing. Amazing. There was the knockdown in round six. Uh, what do you remember? Um, I know that he loves that big looping right uppercut. I know that. I wanted to return that. I wanted to work returning that right uppercut. My world title fight for when I used to kickbox, Jose Perez, I stopped him with that right uppercut. And I said, right through this, I never says to nobody, but in my head, this was my world title fight. And I could hear them. All through this, this is their world title fight. This is his uncle trained for world title. When his uncle trained for world title, he fell short at the world title stage. So they maybe prepared that too hard for that world title. They should have prepared for the European title. And then the world title would have maybe come next. Things that they said in their interviews, they want to go down the procedure brash, European world. Listen, he was at European. He wanted to win the European. And that's it. Listen, I know where I am. I know where I'm going. I'm working hard and I believe in myself. And 100%. I'm just going to get better. I am just going to get better. Listen, who don't like you? Yeah. Listen, as it is, you know, I never avoid anybody. Uh, anybody. And anybody. Now, I don't claim that I'm the main man in the boxing world, but what I am is I'm real. I fight anybody. And when I go into a fight, I believe in myself. There's no chance I'm going to go into a fight just to fight. I go into a fight to win. And that's what people have to expect now. It's not just there just to, just to have fun. Now, yeah, I had fun. I always have fun when I fight. I feel free when I fight. And tonight, I felt free, I felt happy. And I'm just so happy it was so real. Like, it was so real and so fair. Amazing, like it was. I didn't think the scorecards were so wide. I thought it could have been a bit closer. 140, 114 definitely wasn't, but but maybe, maybe when I watch it back, it could be different, but it was good, very good. It seems like you had an intelligent game plan going into this fight. Were you surprised the amount of success you were having getting through tonight with your punches? I have a good jab. Um, I'm a good boxer. I am a good boxer. I, I'm a good fighter, I'm a good boxer, I'm a good mover. I'm unorthodox, I'm always at the end of the shots. and. I didn't really feel his big looping shots. No, I see why he's stopping people with their looping shots. 
they're coming from every angle, but it, it's nothing. Like a couple of times, obviously the low blows, um, trying to put me off the game plan. I, I never. I, I just step back, say to the referee, listen, make sure that I'm okay. My, my, in my head, and I'm glad the referee was 100% and he was there. He, he was there for me. Are you okay? You want to continue? You want longer? No, I don't. Listen, as I said before, I've got balls of steel. They, they're not going to hurt. Just just want to make sure that there, there's nothing like going on in my belly, you know? <laughs> well, listen, what what goes on from now is, uh, well, the, what, what, <laughs> the world is your oyster at the moment, so take them opportunities, but you've in people's eyes, it was a, a massive upset tonight. It was never going to be an upset to you and your team because you believed that what was going to happen tonight happened. But in the eyes of the boxing public, you can appreciate that they will look at this as a huge, huge upset. Not your problem, though. I never gambled, and tonight I gambled because I knew. Now listen, I never gambled because I want the money, because money doesn't motivate me. I gambled because I was so sure of myself. It was an insult there, was crazy. That was an insult, yeah, it was an insult. But listen, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Zelf will come again. God pray he's safe and family are fine. And I just, I just look forward to it happening again. Um, lastly, like all of my sponsors, I want to, um, every one of them, they're, they're doing a great job. Um, obviously, as a lot of people know, I had a hard time last year. But listen, people stuck by me. Graham, Carlin, listen, you're not on here, but listen, I know that you're still there. I was on the phone to you tonight. And Kai, Lexi, babies, I still love yous. All right, listen, Ronnie, thank you very much for the title, Tibby. Congratulations. Brilliant performance and a brilliant fight, so credit to both of you. You had to be on, Cooks. Thank you very much, Mark. Top man, thank you. Well done, mate.